My name Bibi Kaur, daughter of Darshan Singh. 72-year-old baby Kaur's father, Darshan Singh, laid tracks in Burma. She said he lived and worked in some of the worst conditions imaginable. Gya and Pajge Utho Nikle ke chalge. Yake Adde Ra Adde Jungle Onane Goli Mari Mere Father De Late De Vajgi. Late De Vajgi Father Nu Jere Pai Band Naal Pa Jesi Onane Leke Thailand Ge. Thailand Jadon Leke Ge Onu Hasdal Maso Kita Hasdal De Vecha Minarya Ode Pai Band Jere Ode Naal Si Ko Sare Chadke Sare Hor Hor Chalge La. जिथे जिथे उना द कम मिल गया वो चल गए मेरा फादर कल्ला रह गया हस्ताल मी नारिया मी नेदे बेचे ताइलैंड का एक पाई सी ओ थे ओंदा रहेंदा जंदा रहेंदा सी हस्ताल दे बेचे ओ ने मेरे फादर देना पाई बंदी सी ला उने हाल चाल पूछ दा हूँ दा सी ते मेरा फादर केंदा इतना इतना मैं आया इथे काम करनु काम करतो मैं थोड़ी हो सदा बहुत तिखलीबा बहुत दुख दें दिया मैं वापस निकलना हुआ ते ओ जड़ थाईलैंड वाला थाईलैंड वाला पाइसी ओं दा जे तू होन तू किधर चौना जानु ओं दा की पता होन किधर फेरो थाईलैंड वाला बंदा ओ ले गया सी थाईलैंड नू आप दे पेंड दे ला ओ थे ले गया ओ थे जाके थोड़े के दिन रहा ओं दा काम कुमलब के दूल आज वापस ओ हो काम मिल गया उन्हों रेल दा ते फिर ओंदे ओना नए थाईलैंडी एक कुड़ी मेरे फादर दे प्यार तीला प्यार करके उठे रेंदे सी फिर मेरा फादर नु किसे ने अख्या तू इतने बहुत मुश्किला तुम लाया आजा Baby's parents later settled down in Bidor Pera and her father became a labourer in the tin mines. Darshan Singh later joined the local municipal council in Air Kuning. He died in August 1998. Dr. Nantam Singh's father, Harnaik Singh, also worked on the railway. My father has got uh, five children. I'm the eldest son and, uh, and four, four daughters. So their duty was to derail the rail line all the way from Malaya, put on the train to go towards the north, towards the Thai Burma border. And uh, along the way, there were many other laborers, the South Indian, then uh, there were a lot of Punjabis too, and uh, some Malays. Their job was just to carry those derail uh, line and uh, put onto a train and then uh, take all the way to uh, Kanchanabur area. They, they were provided food. The Japanese need them for their strength because to carry this uh, uh, river line. And while they were there and uh, derailing and railing the track and all that, so he also saw the maltreatment uh, done to the, the British uh, prisoners of war. And the prisoners of war was actually very much malnourished and uh, they had diabetes, they had uh, all the sores in the body, according to my dad. And they say they look so very thin, see, compared to us. They, they were very thin and uh, uh, believe that they would have been uh, very badly tortured by the, the Japanese uh, soldiers. Because they need uh, work to be done. Uh, there's a targeted time for, for them to finish those river lines. When the American bomber Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the Japanese are forced to surrender. And then they told all the laborers to the Japanese government, you are liberated, you go your way. Right? So that and some of his friends there, they also went into the village there and uh, they found, uh, each one of them found shelter in the Thai family. Their repatriation from Bangkok was by sea via Singapore. Harnaik Singh together with his wife Bant Kaur, Elias Mainyam and some of his friends returned to their hometowns in Malaya. During that time, it was an emergency time, so he was recruited in as a <coughs> reserve uh, police force uh, to go and look for the communists in the jungle. Uh, there was uh, that much as I could just remember. 
Harnaik Singh also became a bullock cutter, helping his brothers. Later, when the tin industry started to flourish again, he rejoined it as a guard at a mine in Trono. Jit Singh said his father, Anand Singh, and many others from Malaya arrived in Siam by rail. They were forced to walk for almost two days to reach the Tamarkan camp, which was in deplorable condition. There came a lot of mosquitoes, night difficult for the people to sleep. The water also a problem. They used to take water from the river, go and bathe in the river, drinking water, also sometimes rain water, they get some water. Anand Singh was employed as a guard at this camp. Working conditions also was very, very difficult, very at the mercy of the Japanese officers. Some were a bit understanding, some were cruel, but they had, had to complete the job with a certain target, so they just simply push the people to the maximum. Make them work from morning, early morning until late evenings without bothering for their food or for their health. Because without proper food, without proper hygiene, good hygiene, without proper health care, then the workers' condition was getting very bad. Uh, disease broke out where every night these workers who come back and work while they were sleeping all night, some even in the night, 50 per night or 70 or even up to 100 workers who used to die in their sleep. And then this caused the Japanese to be very, they become worried and scared. They, without if this rate of death continue, the workers die at this rate, then they won't have any manpower to do their, to complete their railway work. So then only they started to give some proper care for the workers, this and that. Some food ration, they increase a bit for them and try to get some vegetable for them. Once the war ended, then they'll send the whole group from the Tamarakan camp where my father and his group was, namely his friend Mr. Nek Singh, Darshan Singh. Then they came back to Malaya again and start work. And came back to Kampa, then they started work on the mining. Kalwant Singh Judge and Harnam Singh were civilian prisoners who worked as station masters at Wampo and Tasau in Thailand. Prem Singh Judge said his father and father in law were asked to volunteer or else they would be forced to work as prisoners of war. When the Japanese invaded, he was posted in Johor Bahru as a station master from where the Japanese picked him up to serve on the death railway. He along with numerous other railway workers were taken as so-called volunteer workers, crowded in a wagon, transported to Siam. Father ended up in a station called Wang Po. Kalwant Singh Judge worked as a station master in Wang Po. Prem Singh Judge said his father suffered acute eczema and also injured his leg, which became septic. He said the Japanese wanted to amputate his father's leg, but he persuaded them to move him to Kanchanaburi, where he was treated and allowed to return home after that. He passed away in 2013 at the age of 98. For me, I have sick, a great, greater connections with the death railway because my father-in-law, Sardar Ranam Singh, son of Inder Singh, was also taken to the death railway and he was posted in a station just five miles from where my father was. So let us all forget the contributions of our forefathers and may we never have to experience these extreme times in the future. <laughs>